The Pitch Shifter of Bitwig Studio shifts the incoming live audio by a certain amount. You can dial in the amount here with this big knob in the middle and the maximum number is 12 semitones up and 12 semitones down, which equals to an octave. And we also have a grain control here where you can change um, the update rate of the internal buffer of this pitch shifter device. So um, I imagine this kind of works like a, a delay. You have a delay buffer and you record incoming audio and then you speed off the playback speed of that buffer uh, in a certain amount with the grain rate here. And then you get the pitch shifting effect up or down. And the more you um, change this rate here, it affects the sound. And uh, I can show you this in a minute, how you can use this creatively in Bitwig. Um, and at the bottom here, we have a mix knob where you can blend in the dry signal with the pitch shifted signal. So you can just add some kind of shimmer on top of your sound if you want to. So this is, these are the three knobs. And um, I want to show you this here in a uh, real life environment. So we have a piano sound. You can see nothing happens because we have no shifting here dialed in. Also, we can change the grain size and nothing really happens to the sound. Okay. The magic begins when you at least dial in your small, tiny bit of uh, pitch shifting. And maybe you can hear it in the sound itself. There's a small little fluctuation in volume. And that's basically the buffer playing back the sound it records um, from the input here. And when you pull the screen rate down, then you uh, basically update the buffer less and less. So um, it becomes more like a grain delay almost. So you can really hear the pitch shifter basically samples the sound into the buffer and then it tries to play it back at a higher speed. And because we don't update the buffer that often, you basically have just one burst of sound recorded from the live audio here. And then when you shift audio up, it becomes of course shorter. So um, it sounds like you have multiple tabs or delayed tabs because this audio is so short because we shift here by 12 semitones up. So to counter this and if you want to behave this more like a real pitch shifting effect, we have to increase here the update rate. So the incoming audio is sampled more often, right? But there's also a sweet spot for this. You can see here, it sounds much straighter and cleaner now. But at certain higher frequencies, it becomes almost metallic. So um, there's no real point in here where it sounds really, really nice and clean. That's not really the purpose of this device. This device is more aimed at creative uses, right? So as you can see, we have now a piano and with the grain um, update rate here, uh, up here, it sounds metallic. Almost like a comp filter. So you can use it for that, or you pull this all the way down and it sounds like a delay. And then you mix in the dry signal. Right, and you get this type of grain delay effect. 
So this is how I use it at least. Um, I don't use it really as a pitch shifter in that sense that I use it on vocals and you know and shift by one semitone or two semitones up. I use it more like an audio effect, like a creative effect to um, make something more grainy or add some kind of um, tonality on top like with this metallic effect here, right? Also, shifting something down can be really nice. So as you can see, I'm a big fan of lower values here of the grain size. And I always use this with reverbs and delays in Bitwig. So when we have a reverb here, which sounds pretty basic. Um, so using this here on the tank FX, of course, it's really not really nice. So maybe lift this up. Um, you can also use this on the wet FX, of course, if you just want to put this here. Can also nice, also be nice. And um, sometimes I do stuff like let's take your pitch shifter, pitch shift everything up by an one octave, and use the second one and shift everything down by twelve octaves, uh, twelve semitones. So we shift up one octave and shift one octave down. So it's basically we land on the same um, on the same octave uh, as before. But we also gain here these grain effects. So right, this this is our current pitch, and we shift up, and then we shift down, and we are on the same note again. And if you do this here multiple times, something like this or this, we get all these grain effects here. So this is something that's really nice to do sometimes. Um, I also did some presets or some reverb presets with this here uh, because it, it sounds really nice sometimes in the Tank FX or on the Wet FX box. Um, we can also use this here on a delay, uh, something like this, delay one. We have also your feedback FX box um, and use a pitch shifter here in there. More feedback. And maybe use seven semitones. So now every time we surpass here this feedback loop, we pitch shift the audio up by seven semitones. Maybe make this lower here. Yeah? So this can be also be nice to use inside of a delay one. Another cool idea is to use the pitch shifter in parallel. So um, basically use here seven semitones, pull this down, select the pitch shifter itself, use control and G, put this here in a FX layer and duplicate this and here use different settings for each layer and maybe also here oh, let's go with that maybe dial in different grain sizes here and see how this sounds maybe mix knob
So there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of use cases for this pitch shifter device, um, and one use case I don't use it for is for actually pitch shifting. So I use it more like a creative device in my productions at least. Uh, but you get some decent decent quality out of this here uh, with certain sounds, and it can be helpful. So that's the pitch shifter device for you.